let me tell you top six reasons you may not eat beef. If you are in India, you can do a lot by doing nothing. I'll explain you in this video. So the top six reasons you may not eat beef in India are reason number one. Just as we are, cows also have complex feelings. Cows are gentle social animal. They have the ability to recognize more than hundreds of cows and they form close relationship with members of their herd. Researchers report that cows grieve when their friends or family members die, same as we are. So you might want to think twice whether you'll be able to eat them in future or not. Reason number two, buying beef will spike your grocery bill. Cutting beef from your diet can save you a lot. The price of the beef is at a high record having increased by 20% over the past year. While skyrocketing beef prices are expected to slow this year, an increase of another 5-6% to is still expected. As long as demand for beef remains strong, prices will continue to climb. So if you are a cost conscious customer, it may be time to think twice about your next beef purchase or completely leaving it out to save the rest of your life. Reason number 3. Religion when it comes to religion, the Hindus consider cows as a sacred animal, and even some considers them as mothers as it give milks in alternate to the mother's milk. So why should you kill your own mom and eat it? Reason number 4. Your body will thank you. Eating beef products can expand your waistline and increase your chances of becoming important and developing heart disease, diabetes, arthritis, and other health conditions. Research has shown that vegetarians have 40% the cancer rate of meat eaters. Plus, meat eaters are 9 times more likely to be obese than other vegans. Reason number 5 Ecological balance. It is environmentally friendly. Cattle can graze on land that is too steep, hilly, or rocky for farming. They aerate the soil and eat bush and grasses, which is good for growing more grasses and bushes. Its feces are useful in manuring the land and also acts as a hub for many beetle and insects that grow there. Reason number 6. Beef ban. If the government has banned the beef, it's going to be hard for you to be eating the beef. It's even riskier to butcher and trade. Hence, instead of being hungry all day, all your life, you might want to give it up and stop looking for the so-called beef. Now the topic is so contrasting. Whatever I'm seeing here is all my personal view for the peaceful coexistence of the country. I'm not against anyone here. Now coming to the first point. Reason number one was cows have complex feelings. Now, they grieve when someone close to them dies. Yes, we should respect all the animals as the pain and grief on misfortune happenings. So if you have a hurt for them, you might not eat or disturb their livelihood. But if you're eating them, it doesn't allow you to kill the beef eaters just because you don't eat them. Now take an example of a chain, let's say it's just an example. The person follows strict food habits, he eats no potatoes at all. Just because of that, he killed a person who eats potato. Is that logical? I don't think so. If you think cows and potatoes are different, take an example of a buffalo. Buffalo also produces milk, meat, have emotions, contributes in ecological balance, have similar nutrients, might be religious, sacred to a section of people. But why buffin, pork and chickens are not banned? Why all the other meat transporter and eaters are not being killed? In that case, nobody will live in India, we all will be killing each other as this train spikes up. So where is the peaceful coexistence? As a responsible citizen, we need to learn humanity, learn to coexist with each other. Now here it is. You can do a lot by doing nothing. If you don't abuse or kill the beef eaters, your contribution is allowed to your country's peaceful coexistence. Now going back to reasons number two, your grocery bill. So it depends completely on you whether you want to spend on beef or pork or chicken or mutton. It should be you should be allowed to spend your money the way you like to spend them because you have earned them, you have paid taxes on them. Reason 3. Religion Now religion is what we should respect. If a religion worship cow or stone or wood or whatever, you should respect them. It is something people devote their life into. 
So if it is something like beef, I personally will not eat beef purposely in front of someone who respect cow. Neither talk about the meat and all bullshit so that I can peacefully coexist with them by doing what I want and not abuse any of my fellows who respect. I may eat beef, but I don't want to promote beef to people who consider cow as a sacred animal. But me eating the beef should not allow you to kill me. And if you eat potato, it should not allow me to kill you. We should learn humanity as we should learn peaceful coexistence. We should learn humanity. We should learn peaceful coexistence. Reason number four health and nutrients. So beef is not healthy for you, you might not want to have it. It should not be a problem to others. But if you would like to have them for health reasons, it should not be a problem for me. It's like you eat roti and I eat rice. I am not promoting beef, but as other meat, beef also have many health benefits. Beef is an excellent source for various vitamins and minerals. This includes vitamin B12, zinc, selenium, iron, niacin, and vitamin B6. It may help prevent anemia when eaten regularly, etc. Now let's combine the point fifth and sixth together. Ecological balance and beef ban. Now, if we don't have cows, ecological balance will be affected for sure. Farming will be affected and most importantly the number of cows will be affected. But how? Cows are rare for three main reasons. Agriculture, meat and milk. So out of the three rearing reasons, if beef is banned, then the people will not rear them for meat. Then obviously the number gets decreased at the ratio. Now farmer will rear for two reasons. The farmer take the trouble of rearing it for agricultural purpose because once the cow goes all we can send it to the slaughterhouse and pay for the trouble of rearing the cow as any other cattle does. But if there is no slaughterhouse, you go and ask any farmer if it is economically worth rearing them. If their meat has no value, then instead of rearing throughout the year, years and years, farmers may not even think of giving them. It takes years and years to be fit enough to buy for cultivation. Now, who would do that just for cultivation? If it is a sacred animal, why take them for work in the first place? Nobody would rear it. If you think people will rear it, why not you? Adopt some cow and rear them. Keep them in large quantity because we need cattle in multiple numbers. The nation will thank you. Same case with the milking. You rear them for years and years feeding throughout the season. And once they are ready for meals, you have few years to heal the milk. Only few years. And then no slaughter. There again you need to nurse the whole cow. Who would do it for free? Some hotheads say you can still use its feces for manure. But how much dung will it produce? There is no animal in the universe that produces dung so precious that it will live on its own dung. So these contradictions are all around, in and out, advantages and disadvantages. So since we are talking about humanity and peaceful coexistence right now, the best thing for us to do might be keeping control of our temper, respecting one another, forget killing, forget violence, and most importantly, learn to coexist. So guys, if you're a responsible citizen of India, please share this video as much as possible so that it will reach every Indian citizen to be able to convey the sense of humanity and peaceful coexistence to it right now.